We are the Schrader family, your missionaries based in Zambia, Sub-Saharan Africa, reaching the country of Zambia out into the surrounding countries to Burundi and beyond. God has blessed our family with 10 precious children. And after 10 years of pastoring in the U.S., God graciously brought our family to Sub-Saharan Africa as missionaries in June of 2014. He provided an open door and we were granted permission to enter the country. We are so blessed to be sent under the authority of Tri-County Baptist Church, which was planted in 1979 by my father, Rick Schrader, and pastored ever since. As God led our family to the mission field, specifically to Zambia, and particularly to this place, Kafue, our hearts were gripped with the promise that Paul wrote to the Philippian church in Philippians chapter 4. He said that most famous verse, but my God shall supply all your need according to his riches and glory by Christ Jesus. But if you read the verses before and after, what gripped my heart was that that promise was made to a church that was faithfully, regularly, sacrificially giving to missions. They had a heart for the world to hear the gospel. Verse 17 of that same chapter, Paul said something that has become very near and dear to my heart, especially now as a missionary. He said, not because I desire a gift. He said, it's not about me, what I can get, but I desire fruit that may abound to your account. We were sent to Zambia to start a biblical Baptist church that would then plant other churches to see God give people new life through Christ and train precious nationals to reach their own countries. We welcomed a new baby, Stephen, to our family just four months after arrival and another baby, Isaiah, in June of 2016. It's been quite an adventure, killing cobras in the yard and the house and even a pit viper at the church. Serving the Lord is definitely exciting. But what did Paul mean, fruit, to your account? He wasn't talking about physical fruit, but he was talking about the fruit of souls, eternal souls that will live forever or die forever. Because of your sacrificial support and your faithful, fervent prayers, this is a record of the spiritual fruit that God is crediting to your account for what has been done here in sub sahara Africa, in Zambia, Burundi, and beyond. Why did God lead our family to Kafue in all of Zambia? Well, I believe it was partially because of the Macedonian-like prayers of a young man named Handia. Hi, my name is Handia Moenga. I was one of the first people to meet the Shredas when they came to Zambia. Um, after trying Islam and, and atheism and SDA, I knew that there was no truth in those. I just, I knew something was terribly wrong and I got the burden to start praying about God to send someone who could show me the pure truth. God sent the Schrader family. I, I met them on a dust road here in Kafua East and eventually John Schrader started witnessing to me. And that's when I, I, I opened my heart, I softened my heart to the Word of God, the pure Word of God. And I got to be born again from the Word of God. It was something so amazing. My life changed I, when I became born again. I knew that I, I had Christ living in me. Um, and it's just, it's been an awesome journey because I got to lead some of my friends to Christ. Uh, Titus and George, which is something I never thought I could do. And I know I can't do it because I only was able to do it through the power of God. And it's, it's, it's amazing, really, to lead someone to Christ. To know. I've just seen God work in ways that are just so amazing. And it's, it's been a great joy to have the Schrader family lead me to Christ and to have them in my life. And I am forever thankful for their uh, sacrifice to be missionaries. Praise the Lord.
It's been such a privilege leading people like Hande to Christ and seeing their lives radically change. Uh, one such soul is Victor Ciccione, a man who made Bible covers but had never been given the gospel clearly. He said to me, all day I handle Bibles, but I don't know what they mean. He also said, your words are ringing in my ears. I don't want to perish. Only God knows why he called you from USA. To kneel with Victor as he trusted Christ and later baptize him and hear him testify how God changed his life was truly amazing. We've seen other men and women like Eugene and his wife Precious, Jacqueline who Esther led to Christ and has been diligently discipling, and young people like White, Emmanuel, and others also give their lives to Christ. And it's been a privilege to see these and others who were led to Christ follow the Lord in believer's baptism and be added to our first church here in Kafue, Truth Biblical Baptist Church. I would like to now introduce you to Roderick Malunga, our first fruits here in Kafue, the very first convert God gave us after we moved to Zambia. Hello, I'm Roderick Malunga. I'm from Kafue, Zambia. I, I tried so many churches and I was trusting my baptism. I met Brother John, he shared with me the gospel and uh, I, I saw that I was not born again. I gave my life to Christ and now we are here in Mulamba. Uh, we, we've just planted a biblical uh, Baptist church. Um, we are excited with what God is going to do in our lives. Uh, just like we are helping the church here in Mulamba, we are trying to help them with the teaching, uh, uh, the materials, that we want them to grow in the Word of God. So I'm, I'm very excited that God has called me in the ministry to work for Him. We put Roderick's Salvation Testimony in a Gospel tract, and one of those tracts brought about something truly amazing. But more on that in just a little bit. Another amazing story of God's grace was our God's friend Jolice, who came from Burundi looking for work. We were privileged to lead him to Christ after several months, spending nine hours one day going verse by verse through the Bible about salvation, and he gave his life to Christ. Both Jolice and our God were orphaned in the genocide, and Jolice's parents' murderers also attempted to kill him, but God graciously spared his life. We began Truth Biblical Baptist Church, our first church plant, under a young mango tree in the yard, then met in the living room of our rented house. After that, the Lord provided another house to rent for the church to use, and also for the men we were training to live in as well. Then the Lord miraculously provided a plot for the church plant, which had an existing slab. After we cleared the plot, the first thing that was built on the property was the baptistry, and it was built with the tithes and offerings of the Missions Church. God also graciously provided through a memorial fund from my beloved sister, a strong steel roof to shade us from the sun and rain. We were so excited to have our first service in the open air tabernacle. The church will build the walls themselves as it grows that they might have ownership and it might be their church. We've also seen the Lord provide for the building of the Timothy House, a place for men to live who are from other countries such as Burundi or from other places around Zambia that have no biblical church to train them in the work and word of God. We've also been able to build a chicken house so that the men can have a means of working and supporting themselves as they're here training to serve God. We've started a weekly kids club and youth outreach where we enjoy fun but the focus is studying a chapter a week from the Gospel of John or Romans. We have a major emphasis on discipleship and passing out tracts, and this is supplemented through our printing ministry. Our children enjoy getting involved. As Elijah said, I can't preach like my daddy, but I can hand out tracts. Because of this outreach, we're so excited that the Lord has also provided for a container with almost 300,000 John and Romans and a thousand Bibles shipped to us by World Missions Bearing Precious Seed. We were excited to host our pastor and my parents for a visit in March 2016 and for them to see firsthand what God is doing here. We were also blessed to have our very first Zambian wedding, having led the groom, Roderick, and the bride, Jacqueline, to Christ and discipled them. What a joy to see this couple growing in faith and faithfulness. God is already using them in a mighty way.
One of the men God has given us to train is Arkad, who I met in Burundi in 2013. The tragic history of how Arkad and Jolice were orphaned at age five is mentioned in our video, The African Macedonian Call. And you can see the amazing story how God brought Arkad and I together in that video. Arkad was the first person that I was privileged to be able to baptize here in Africa. Arkad has been training with us since 2014, preparing for the service of the Lord. And he will be sent out of our church here in Kafue as a missionary to Burundi. He also has a deep burden for three surrounding countries, the Congo to the west, Rwanda to the north, and Tanzania to the east. My name is Arkad Niyomunge. I thank God to be here in Zambia to work with him, Brother John Schrader. He's been so such a blessing to me. And uh, I thank God he has put in me in, in my heart, Benny, not only in Burundi, uh, but also Tanzania and the and Grand and Kong, so that uh, uh, we can train many from those countries, so that they can train others also from those countries. And uh, I thank God also that uh, uh, one day in the next year, 2018, will be sent as a missionary by, by our church from Kafue so that uh, uh, we can go to, to teach others also as he uh, taught him to teach too. God also allowed us to start a theological Bible college along with our hands-on practical local church training with our motto being faithful servants able to teach. We currently have four students studying to serve the Lord. God has recently miraculously provided for a second ministry vehicle, which is much needed as we begin to expand out from Kafue into the villages. What I have to share with you now is truly incredible to me. This wonderful story begins with two men from the village of Mulamba, about three and a half hours from us who received a copy of Roderick's gospel tract and traveled to Kafue. We spent four hours with them the first night and they saw that they were trusting in their baptism, their works to save them, as tragically so many do here in Zambia. They were literally unable to sleep that night. Felon and David saw their need to be saved after more than nine hours of Bible study the following day and joyfully gave their lives to Christ. What happened next after that can only be described as the mighty working of God. We began making trips to the village of Mulamba and teaching, and precious souls began to trust in Christ, such as Mary, who literally wept as she saw that she was lost and cried out to the Lord to save her by his blood. Felon's wife, Grace, also realized that she was trusting in her baptism and testified that she gave her life to Christ by grace through faith. And Elizabeth, whose vibrant testimony is such an encouragement, she literally would not go home that night until she knew that she was born again. Roderick and his wife Jacqueline have also been traveling to the village and teaching the new converts as well. Though threatened and opposed by a former police officer who mocked us and the blood of Christ, these new believers in this village said, we must have a biblical Baptist church here. God incredibly touched the heart of the headman of the village, Joseph, and in spite of the opposition, he freely gave the new believers a plot from his own personal land, asking nothing from us or the believers as payment. He told them, we need a church that teaches the Bible like this. We traveled recently with a group of men from our church in Kafue to Malamba Village, and they were so excited as we camped there in the bush to get to be a part of seeing this new church plant become a reality. We started by clearing the property and God wonderfully provided the wood by touching the heart of the headman of the next village who also charged us nothing. It was a wonderful gift, but we had to go off road in the bush to get to where the lumber was. We spent three days cutting and hauling logs and getting materials to build the church, such as these palm fronds that are soaked and used to tie the materials together. In the middle of the week, we had a testimony and baptism service and Roderick did a wonderful job preaching and baptizing the new converts under the authority of our church, Truth Biblical Baptist Church. According to the command that was given to us by the Lord Jesus Christ, I therefore baptize in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. 
Burgers are two stones. Showing the figure of dying. Kufa. Dying. And the resurrection of Jesus Christ. These faithful believers have shown the genuine fruits of real repentance through the fires of persecution. Mr. McComb, that police officer, lied to the owner of the bush farm that Felon works at, trying to get him fired. He also threatened Elizabeth's mother, who was allowing the group to meet in her home. To see these young believers stand so steadfast in the truth has been such an encouragement and blessing. The headman Joseph attended the service and his intense attention, as he carefully listened to every word, thrilled my heart. Please pray for Joseph's salvation as he has continued to attend the services there in Mulamba, being led by the man God provided to lead them, Brother Felon, one of those first two converts that came to us from the village of Mulamba. As we continued building the Bush Church building, our Toyota Land Cruiser Troop Carrier, which we call the Truth Carrier, was such a blessing, not only in hauling the wood and materials, but also being used as a scaffold to be able to erect the large heavy trees that were used for the main roof supports. We labored together and by the grace of God were able to get the main structure of the building completed before we had to return to Kafue. The church members have continued working and we've received the report that the thatched roof is almost finished. It was overwhelming to see the passion of these new believers and their hunger to know and grow in the Word of God fills my heart with such great joy. Felon is already getting a burden to reach out to the villages beyond Mulamba. God is working here in Zambia, but there is still so much more to do. As Arkad and Jolie's prepare to be sent back to Burundi as missionaries, please pray for this incredible opportunity. Through the horrific tragedy of the genocide that came to their country from Rwanda, they were orphaned and bonded together as children at five years old. But now they are bonded together by the blood of Christ and His glorious call upon their lives. They have both inherited land where churches can be planted in Burundi. And Arkad has an invitation from a long-time friend to have the ear of the nation preaching the gospel over the radio to the entire country. God is going to do a mighty work there in Burundi and we are so thankful that he has raised up Jolies to also be sent as a missionary team with our Cod following the Bible example of both the Lord Jesus Christ with the 70 and the Apostles. My name is Jolies Runzanga. I came here for business but I found Jesus Christ here in Zambia. So, God called me to go back with Brother Arkade to plant the churches there in Burundi. Uh, the time I got born again, I was thinking where I came from. They tried me to, to, kid, to, kid, to cut off my head and uh, I'm, 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 I'm looking to go back to, to plant the church where they destroy the house of my family. So, they can think when, 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 when they try to, to kill that little boy, they can think that that little boy, they try to, to cut the neck, he, 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 he comes with the ghost. I pray that this report has encouraged your heart about what God is doing here in Sub-Saharan Africa and the spiritual fruit to your account. But please, don't stop praying. We desperately need your faithful and fervent prayers. For Satan is fighting to try to stop what God is doing and his working here in Zambia. From our hearts, Mati Mawanga, we want to say to you all, Vonse, Zukomo Kwambili, thank you so very much. Zikomo. 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 Zikom